All right, well, we want to get a check of what's happening with this forecast. We have been watching the rain showers. Jessica Van Meter keeping an eye on things for us. And things hopefully settling down a little bit. Yeah, you know, that rain at least is settling down. Did cause a few issues uh, with some heavy downpours on the roads earlier. And we do still have a couple of issues on the roadways. One of those uh, 90 coming off of Dead Man's Curve. Some slowdowns there. 490 with construction. 480 has been a headache, especially westbound this afternoon. We had an earlier accident just after Lee Road. That accident has been cleared, but we've also had another accident uh, just west of 77. So they're working on clearing that accident, but in the meantime, it's caused a lot of backups along 480, especially through some of those construction zones. So keep that in mind uh, as you head out and about this evening. We are still watching the chance for a, a few showers and thunderstorms, especially south and east of Cleveland through about six, seven o'clock. Some heavy downpours, some rumble certainly going to be possible for a few of those locations. Now we did have shower storms popping up really through the afternoon, and the core of that has really focused south and east of Cleveland for the time being. We we are uh, out of any severe thunderstorm warnings for the time being. Uh, any of that activity has moved off to Pennsylvania pretty quickly. We do still have a couple of downpours across the southern part of Trumbull County. That's one county that did get some decent rain for the majority of the county. For a lot of the rest of us, some folks got some rain, some much needed rain, and some folks, unfortunately, still on the dry side. We do need some rain, and we're getting plenty of it across southern Portage County, uh, down into eastern Stark County. We've got some very heavy rain moving through New Franklin, heading out towards Knox. It's going to cross that county line there. We've also got some lighter rain, but still some showers around the Canton area. So all of this will be winding down as we go through the next hour or two here. It's all part of a cold front that's moving through. So so as that cold front moves through, it's going to shift our wind around a little bit. It's going to give us some cooler, more comfortable conditions for tomorrow. We've also got high pressure off to the west. That's going to be settling in. It's going to give us some really nice skies as we go through the next couple of days, especially Friday into Saturday. As that rain comes to an end, things are looking drier for the Guardians as they take on the Tigers tonight. 640 for first pitch temperatures in the low 80s initially still fairly muggy, but again, that rain is ending, so it should be drier overall as we go through game time there for tomorrow. It's going to be a cooler, more comfortable day. Temperatures start off in the 60s. We make it into the mid to upper 70s through the afternoon. We'll keep some cloud cover around initially a chance for a stray shower and then some more sunshine late afternoon and evening. Friday, a 10 out of 10 day with that National Design Mart hour by hour forecast. Lots of sunshine. Temperatures close to 80 degrees through the afternoon should be a great way to kick off that weekend. Medina Country Club seven day outlook weekend is looking nice, but much warmer mid 80s still a lot of sunshine out there on Saturday Sunday we're looking for low 90s and then we bring back the chance for showers and storms starting Sunday night into Monday we'll be back after the break